Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, connect all your Swan security camera together. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how you connect all the cables together. Uh, and uh, in the following videos, I'm going to show you how you can uh, set it up. So you can see here, there are quite a lot of uh, different parts. Uh, I have laid out on the tables for you to, uh, to see. Now there is a uh, power adapter for the DVR. So this is the recording box. So all your footage recording goes into this box here. Also, it has a hard drive in here, two uh, gigabyte hard drive. Now it has a um, HDMI cables comes along with this uh, unit. Uh, if you have a monitor that using a VGA cables right here, this is a VGA cable, then you don't need to use the HDMI. So the HDMI can use uh, to plug into a monitor or to a uh, TV. So that's the box right here. Then you got the power adapter. You got the network cables that go to connect to the router, and that's allow you to uh, uh, access the internet. So from the internet, you can uh, view the live footage uh, using uh, your internet connections. Then you got the BCN cable here. So this cable runs on your roof or behind the walls in the wall cavities. So it's quite long, it's 18 meters long. And it's got the two plugs. One is the red one is the power source and the other one is the video uh, live cables feed. So there's four cables or four cameras. With this particular unit, there are four cameras. This is the eight channels unit. So you can extend uh, another four cameras. At the moment, I only have four with this particular one. Now there is also a power adapter that will supply power to the four cameras. So one adapter over here supplying power to the units, and another one over here supply powers to the four cameras. So you may ask, we only have one power adapters. How we can supply power to the four cameras? The the answer is we are using a power splitter. So this one here is a splitter. So you plug that into here, and it will split up with uh, four different cables. And with this uh, four different cables, you can uh, put power to that four uh, cameras. First thing we need to do is to plug this DVR unit into the power source. So you can. At the back here, plug that one in, and that's it. And have this one here, plug it to the uh, power wall socket. While you are plugging in, you can also plug this one into the wall socket for the camera. The camera also needs a power supplied. So I'm just going to uh, open this one up and I'll let it run down there. And then next you can plug that one into this power splitter right here. So with this one here, we're going to connect on one end onto the unit itself. So in here, so I'm going to select a channel and I'm going to connect it right here. And then continue with all the other cameras that you have. So continue with all the other cables, I mean, so all this cable here, you can connect it. In here, make sure you lock in so you have to push it in and then, and then lock it in. I'll just pull out the power cable from now to make it easy. So make sure you push it in, holding uh, this one here, then push it and twist it until it locks into place. And using this one here, you also can push it in and lock it into place. And we have the power uh, connected to the device right here.
And while you at the back of this unit, you can plug in the network cables. So this is uh, the cables that we, the LAN cable that connects to the internet router. Again, while at the back here, we can also uh, take this opportunity to plug in the monitor VGA cable or the HDMI cables. If you have a microphone, you can plug into the audio input and audio output right here. So, and then use the tools to tighten up the VGA cables. So once we have done that, I'm just going to move this one to the back, like so. So there are quite a lot of uh, cables. Right here, so you can see these four cables. You can connect it to the splitter. No, no, that's not the right one. So we need to take that one out. Need to use the right end. So that's the incorrect end. I'm gonna plug it with this one here. Now that we have all the four same plug, we can plug it in. That's it. One, two, three cameras. And this is for the fourth cameras. So now the cables is connected to the unit and also has the power source over here. So on the camera itself, so this is the camera itself and this is the cables. You can connect it like so. So connect the BNC cables to the camera cables. You can see there are pins right here that you need to line up right there. So line up the pins right here into the slot and then twist it and that get locks into play. And then from here, we're going to plug it into. So that's one camera already uh, set up. Now the device also come along with an Allen key. You can use an Allen key to unscrew this. Make sure you unscrew it first before you try to adjust. Otherwise you can uh, damage uh, this part here. So make sure you unscrew it first and then from there you can adjust the camera. So continue to connect all the four cameras. So I've done one already. With all of the cables you can continue to plug in all the, all the four cables. Like so, the two here, two that's on the camera, and that's on the cables. So that's two cameras already, so you can do, continue to do it for the rest of all the other cameras. So, we also have uh, having plug in the mouse so this mouse allows you to control the menu system on the DVR so it goes at the back of the unit into the USB port right here so the USB just below the network cables so here the USB cables on here this port here can also be used um, for copying file to the USB drive so you have a, a USB drive you can also plug into the same hole right there so plug that one in that going in I'll just double check yep. so just push it all the way in and here's a mouse, so it is a swan mouse, it's quite small. I just want to put this box over here. It is a little bit messy, so we need to clean up the, the cables uh, so that it runs nice and smooth. So that's the two cameras that we have plugged in already, so you can continue with the other two cameras. And down here, we're going to take a look. 
remember the two power adapter that I put down here you can uh, connect it to the power as so. well and that's it so we have uh, successfully uh, connected and once you connect it you can see on my monitor it shows the swan system right there and uh, we're just waiting for it to put up so you can see the mail uh, has power uh, the device is uh, booting up at the moment and that's how you can uh, connect your uh, your system like you can see right here it is uh, showing at the moment on the monitor as you can see the monitor uh, has started already so you can uh, uh, continue to uh, uh, this with this process by uh, setting up putting in the username and password so in the next uh, videos I will show you how you can set up your swan uh, security uh, camera thank you for watching this video